Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Tavern Master. Let's go ahead and jump into the next day and have our minds blown with how much we have here. Um, do we have... Yes, we do have small tables at a very increase here. Director share... Now, I, honestly, I could probably, like, sneak in director share or, like, VIP seating here, like, two by two, to squeeze them through this little corridor here. Actually, I don't know if I can or not. Thinking about it, I don't... Actually, I can't do that. Never mind. Okay. Never, never mind. Never, never mind. Uh, let's see here. We have a event going on tomorrow, or we should have an event going on tomorrow. Let's go ahead and look at our research before we go ahead and plan that event. Um... We are working on waitresses, so we do need like 30 of those waitresses, please, or the 30 of the uh, important people, or the orange people, right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do Executioner. We're just going to do another Executioner meetup. That should be fine. Let's make sure that we are running on full speed here. Make sure that we have food. Yes, 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 we do. And our bars are all filled up. Oh, yes, they are. All right. So, yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's glad to see you. I'm glad to see you back here on Tavern Master. Now, now, now I know a lot of you people are like, oh, I want to play the game. Man, I want to play the game. I want to play the game, but you are playing the game and I am not able to play the game And all I can say is hopefully Hopefully there's something else that will distract you for the next month and a half before this game comes out because I know some of you are very excited for this game and uh, It's very fun. It's a very fun game. I can see some you know what even for how simple it is I think replay replayability is there um, and I, I'll, yeah, I'll say that. Usually I have a uh, big thing about replayability. Can you do replayability? Is there replayability? For as simple as this game is, I think there is replayability. Um, I'm just very interested, like I said, I, I mentioned this in, in another, uh, like the last video or something, maybe the video before that. It's gonna be something to think about when the price drops. Uh, or what is the price, right? What's the starting price? I would hope that it's $14.99. Unless, of course, they plan on expanding way more than what we have here um, going into release. But, at the same time, it's simple, right? Replayability is there. You can do kind of different things, you know? Uh, you can research differently. You can go up the tree differently. You can start, you know, be like, you know what, I'm only... Well, I don't know. It, maybe not. Maybe research is kind of like... Um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um... A linear yeah linear like you can't like go straight down on the bottoms first and then straight on the tops you kind of need a little bit of everything to kind of progress a little bit forward that now that I'm thinking about it but you know I maybe decorating changing the way how things look maybe different wall textures I I, I, I do see if you wanted to pick this game up again and, and try it there there would be some replayability there let's go ahead and help Matilda out and give her a nice uh, raise here and go speed up when she is not carrying anything once we get $1,300. Once we get um, the ability to have the inn and go upstairs and to the next level and to the next level, it's going to get spicy. It really is. And I think we might be doing that in today's episode. I don't know. Uh, but let's go ahead and start the next day. This is where we're going to get our executioners. Uh, they're going to come in. We're going to get two more waitresses, which is going to be awesome. Now, somebody did say you could fire your waitress, right, and, um, and, and hire a new waitress. But I kind of like having the thought of, like, Upgrading these the people that we've had for so long making them maxed out. Yes, it's gonna cost us a little bit more But money is not like a big issue right now And I'm not starving for money right now Even if it would like make me an extra $30 a day or something like that Like I'm not I'm all right with that Like I like the people that we've kind of built a relationship with Shay Jack Matilda William I mean Forrest barely does anything, but you know, he like swings his knife when someone comes around, but that's it. <laughs> That's all he does. Uh, but nonetheless, I, you know, I feel like I'm building a relationship for some of these people. And um, I don't want to just, like, get rid of them just because. I don't know why I just don't hit that again. Now, one thing is certain. Uh, the executioners, they are going to drink our beer in Yale. Or, not Yale. Ale. So fast. So, this is going to unlock uh, unlock us waitress number two. So, after waitress number two, where do we go next? I think we go to Milk Cider and Mead. I think that's the next thing we have. If we get Milk Cider and Mead, that will open up uh, possibilities for new people for our um, parties. It will then give us ability to sell other items, you know, and maybe make more money from the uh, mead and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Chopping table, not so much of a priority right now. Uh, so Milk Cider and Mead going next. And then after that, maybe... Maybe we'll be able to do researchers, you know? Maybe, we'll see. 
I gotta look more into that. So if we wanted to do that, we need 30 of those, which I think actually we would be, because then uh, we would be able to do like the pirates. And the pirates, or even the battle victory celebration, both of these guys, they can give us uh, enough gold people that we need. So after the pirates, we need 5,000 procedures to do the Viking theme party, which would be cool. Merlin the wizard, prince visit, and then the king and queen fest with mead. Does anyone require milk? No. <laughs> nobody requires milk, but people require water. But nobody requires milk. What's the point of milk then? Is it for the for the kitchen? I don't know. Level up the cherry cake. That is a fully maxed out cherry cake. That is a five star cherry cake. We sell the best cherry cake in the valley. There we go. Our research has now popped open. $1,800. Good to see you there. Let's go ahead and start doing the milk cider in me. I mean, we could do researchers right now, huh? We could. And we could do the battle celebration or be, uh, victory battle thing. No, 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 no. Don't push it. Let's just go milk cider and mead for now. And then let's go ahead and add another waitress or two. Yeah, or two. All right, so let's see here. We have Lily, we have Tamara, we have Judy, and we have another Shay, which is incredible. Look at these people's, uh, look at all their, their skills. I do want to do their traits, though. Uh, gains, experience, two times faster. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in experience. I'm interested in tips for every food served. So Tamara looks like is going to be our person to hire. So thank you, Tamara. Let's go ahead and hire another person here from the same list. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, I could wait till the next day and then hire somebody else. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to hire one. And then on the next day, maybe that list will refresh and we can get into that. Let's go to the next day here now. Um, so far, so good, right? I think so far, so good. This is going to be our first time using a third, right? A third. Now, wait a sec. Tamara, can I make you strictly food? Because you do food. Shay. No, not Shay. Time out, Tamara. Where are you? Shay, no. Matilda, no. Who is a wait? Tamara? Tamara, all right. So Tamara, she can carry five drinks. She gets $5 for every food served. Now, we can give her the high priority of food. Bring her drinks down to maybe nil. She could be a food server. And the other two, like, you know what? We could actually do this a little bit easier. The other two, Shay... They will not do food, and they'll be on drinks, right? Because Shay, she attracts more customers. Matilda can carry more drinks, and then we will do that. And then we will have one person on food and the other person, or the one person on food, the other two on drinks, and maybe that will help. And that will help our department with the whole food uh, services and, you know, tips and all that. Let's go ahead and buy some more food for us. Let's make sure that this is all set in stone. Refill all that at all costs. Three thousand dollars. Like we're, we're we're making a lot of money. Take a look at our research here. Um, we are going to probably be getting that fifty here. Yeah, that fifty bone. Very very soon. Take a drink here. Excuse me. Yeah, so fifty bone is probably going to be coming through. Uh, what the hell did I just say? 50 bone? Why the hell would a 50 bone come through? What the hell is a 50 bone? What am I talking about with 50 bones? Was I on something? Was I... I mean... What... What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. 5,000? 50, 50... Okay. Regardless. The next thing we're going to do is going to help us in the, uh, you know, kind of the same thing. 50 executioners, probably going to be the thing we do again. I know what you're saying. I know. But uh, we need it. And once we get that, we'll get the milk, cider, and mead. And then we can go for researchers. I'm not really interested in the chopping table at the moment. Uh, researchers probably will be the next thing. Like, plus one bar. We don't need a plus one bar because we don't have enough room yet. Um, I do want to put a bar over here, but I'm kind of waiting for the whole next level stair aspect because I don't know how that all works out. I don't know if it like just automatically attaches somewhere. They place stairs for you or you have to place stairs somewhere down. I'm not sure how that works. So like in the meantime, we could have like propped this open, expanded our dining area right back here, which would have been crazy. If, but I know we have a second level. That's why I'm not doing anything with this over here quite yet. We're just waiting it out. And I wish we could, like, expand more, but we can't. We can't go any farther back this way. That's what I was talking about, like, in the future game, like, when it is released. Maybe, just maybe, um, you know, have different areas. You can go and buy a plot of land and it be different sizes and stuff like that. That would be just an easy, easy add-on that would, um, that a lot of people would, would really enjoy, I think. 
$1,600 there. Good money, $5,000. I guess we can try to like with more prestige, more decorations. Like we can have a nice armor stand, right? Yes, yes, bring in the armor stand. That's the first thing you see when you come into out of the restaurant, right next to the coat hanger. Um, we have enough banners and stuff. Like we could put more shields. Like this is the shield we have now. I think we have this shield. Yeah, we have this shield. Let's go ahead and put some more of this shield down. Um, not right there with the candle. Probably right there. Boom. Five hundo. Not right here, because, you know, that's, that's gonna go bye-bye here in a sec. Boom. One more. Very easy, like, decoration. Probably a painting of a woman. Let's do that. A painting of a woman. I, I don't... Yeah, right there. Boom. Nice. 5,000 prestige now. Uh, which then... If we wanted to, we could go ahead and, um, what do we want? We could do the Vikings. Yeah, we could do the Vikings now, but we, we don't need that quite yet. It's very cool. That's going to bring us a lot of money if we can get the Vikings in. I mean, we can average about 279 uh, visitors a day, apparently. Now, I wonder if that number went up. I didn't even check to see if that number went up because we, uh, or when we hired the third person. By the way, I should have looked at the third person to see if we could hire another. I guess I could do it now. Matilda, Tamara, Nancy, and Brenna. Um, plus one drink for every served. Attracts more people. Mood is not affected by cleaning. Um, we do have two drinkers. Or not two drinkers. Two. Like, we could do Nancy, no? Nancy attracts more customers every day. Um, honestly, I'm not really sold on that. I'll, I'll wait on that one, too. I'll wait on the next day to see where we're standing. Because that, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sold on that. I feel like there could be a better person or a better waitress out there for us. Dun. La, da, da, da. Now, it's going to be interesting to see once we do get, like, rooms and stuff. Uh, we're going to need, like, to sign a cleaning crew, right? Or, like, people just doing cleaning and stuff like that. Um, will there be anybody that does... Like, is there maids, housemaids, or I guess, are they waitresses that, that, that do? I guess the waitresses are the ones that do the house cleaning. There will be a, a point where you can hi hire infinite an amount of people, which will be fun. But, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how the rooms are. I think I'm more excited for the rooms more than anything, I think. How's our research going on so far? Yeah, we just need 39 important people, I guess, for the milk and cider and mead. That's going to be the executioners coming in tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Today's Monday. Yeah. Very good. It's, you know, just a kickback grind, right? Kickback grind. That's all we're doing. We're going to have a lot of money here soon. Maybe I need to save up my money. Maybe I need a lot of money going in the future here with the new stuff. With the, uh, especially like with researchers or like props for soup. Uh, a new floor, you know, things like that. Now, I am looking at this. It says, new floor. I'm going to need a researcher tab, but I'm also going to need another bar. And then, in that, I'm going to need a purple visitor. So, if I wanted to do a purple visitor, how am I going to be able to get a purple visitor? Am I going to have to, like, invite the wizards? Because if I invite the wizards, I'm going to need, like, five, like 10,000 prestige, no? Maybe. All right, let's start the next day. Now, I'm going to take a look at our waitress again. Oh, you F. Get him. Good job. Um, let's do that. Pause time real quick. Take a look at our waitresses. Okay, we have new people here. Brenna. Tips for food. Matilda. We can have another Matilda. I hate how there's like so, <laughs> so much. Um, like, get more names, I guess. <laughs> there's like 10 names in this game. Uh, get five tips for every food server. We can have another food server, right? You know what? We'll do that. We'll, but that's Matilda. I don't want to hire another Matilda or I'll get confused. So it's kind of up to these two. You can carry A drinks at the same time. Mood decreases 20% slower every day. Like, honestly, mood? I haven't really, like, noticed mood. She gets three tips, three tips. Let's just do the drinks. Yeah, we'll do the drinks. Brenna will be in. Thank you so much, Brenna. Haven't really, like, decided if I need to hire another chef. I feel like everything's going okay. Right? Do I need to hire another chef? Maybe not. I'm going to refill this. Thank you so much. Uh, all the guests have on this event have been served. You will receive 500. Thank you for the 500. Dun, 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 dun. 
Now this is this is gonna give us our researchers. I guess the next thing we go from researchers is bar plus one, but I, you know, again, I don't know how we're gonna do that with the one purple. We're gonna need another purple too. So this is the thing I'm talking about, where the game kind of forces you to then like drop down and go all through, because now we have to probably go to chopping table, which will. Why you might be asking? Well, why do you have to go to chop, chopping table? If we go to chopping table, it will increase our um, our variety of food, and with the variety of food, might attract um, more people. So if you take a look here, we're at a 2.2 star, right? We have a one percent chance for a purple person coming in. If we have more food, you know, fish steak, steak, leek soup, vegetable soup. I think that's what it will do: is vegetable soup and stuff like that. Uh, that might increase, right? And we might get lucky. An invitation party? Like, I don't think we have what it takes for an invitation party. I don't think we have enough prestige to do the invitation party for uh, people that are purple. Let's give her a nice raise there and do that. Thank you so much, Shay. Everybody happy? Everybody's happy. Maxed out, maxed out. Like, everybody is happy. I don't think anybody needs to be paid more. And I'm alright with that, because where are we sitting at salary-wise? $465 a day? I mean, you see how much money we make, right? Especially these people. These, these guys give us so much money. They're all about the drinks, dude. They are all about the drinks. I like it, though. I, I do like it. This guy, look at him. He's sitting by himself. Ah, what a hard day. Yes, I'd like two ales and two beers, please. Oh my god, he got a third one. <laughs> the, the, like, the, these beers, like, the, the steins, right? They're called steins, maybe? They remind me of, like, butter beer, man. Like, the foam coming out. $2,000 is how much we made. There we go. Our research has been completed for milk cider and mead. So we have a lot here that we're going to do. Let's go ahead and actually do that right now. Kind of adjust. Milk cider. Oh my lord. $1,500. Yeah, good thing we saved the money for this. Bam! Look at that. Milk cider mead. Refill for $1,368. What bam Look at that. Awesome. So cool. So, so cool. Good thing, yeah, good thing we did save the money, though, there. Um, so the next thing we do is researchers, no? Let's do researchers. So we're going to need 30, uh, 30 orange and 30 uh, yellow. Which is going to be interesting, because uh, for the Friday event, right, for our Friday event, we are going to, see, this only gives us... This gives us a purple, and this needs 10,000 prestige. This would be perfect for where we're at, but um, 10,000 prestige. How do you get 10,000 prestige, right? You got to decorate it up, maybe? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just kind of get ready for a Viking party. I would like a Viking party to come in. I know we haven't done the, um, the pirate party, which we're kind of skipping over admittedly, but um, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, let's start the next day, right? Yeah, let's start the next day. Maybe I should have went with the chopping table. Honestly, I probably should have went with the chopping table. But it is what it is. It's fine. Okay, let's go. This isn't the Viking party. No, this is just regular party or just regular service here. Look at that. I love the way this looks. Looks so good. I hear Bella barking in the living room. What is she doing? That little silly dog? That little silly dog? She's so, so nosy about everything in life. She thinks she runs the world, but she doesn't. I promise you she doesn't. She thinks she does, but she doesn't. So how are we going to get 10,000 prestige? Um, <laughs> I have no idea, dude. Um, special. What's special? Plus one bar. That would give us 200 prestige, which it does seem a lot, but it's not a lot. Decoration, like 100 de prestige for decoration is like the best that we can do. No. I guess another fireplace, 200 prestige there. Um, psh, you know, I don't know, dude. Oh, I know what we do. Luxury, right? Yes, a luxury. Oh, we might have money. Well, 1,000, 2,000. Luxury tables, no? Luxury tables, two, 1,200. Oh, baby, that's where we go. That's where we go. We go luxury tables, $1,200 a piece. It will take forever, but this is our best way to get our prestige up as fast as we can as fast as we can 
right? Then we gotta start working luxury. Maybe we need luxury for the wizards. Maybe we need luxury for the prince. Maybe we need luxury for the king and queen, right? They need luxury, baby. It is what it is. So that's what we're gonna do, obviously. Let's go to upgrade our menu of bowl of chicken and do that. Thank you so much for the bowl and chicken there. Other than that, we can go ahead and uh, do, 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 redo this. Oh, not redo, but do this. Uh, give this man a nice little bit of a raise here. Skill for the main courses and skill for the soups. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Matilda has a max out here. There we go. Matilda is maxed out. Uh, so the only people that are not maxed out is our chef and our two new waitresses. We can obviously hire another chef, but again, I, I don't think it's like needed. Uh, really not needed at this given time. So what we're going to do is we're going to look more into uh, this. We're going to start slowly, slowly start adding more tables. And I realize why Bella's barking. <laughs> I know why she's barking now. Her mom left. Um, I have my office door shut. She thinks she's home alone. She's hearing voices in a different room. So she's confused. But yeah. So I'm going to start from here and I'm going to go across and work my way all the way down. And that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to bring in the luxury tables. $1,200 a piece. We should be able to like do two or three here once this day ends. Hopefully. Hopefully. We already refilled our food. We refilled our drinks. Maybe we should. Like, I'm, maybe we should be hiring another chef. You think so? Let me see. I'm going to keep, keep my eye on the kitchen here. Maybe not. He's idling quite a bit, maybe. I don't know. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I would like to do this and go boom, sell. I'm gonna do one at a time just so I know how much money I have. Boom, aw, oh, damn it. I forgot you can't like exit this out. F, F in the chat. I don't wanna, oh, that's how you do it. You just click it again and it unselects. Oh my God. All right. Untraditional way of doing things, but it works. There we go. And then we go like that. And then we do this, maybe more than Three or four, maybe like five. One more, one more wouldn't help, or wouldn't it help. <laughs> one more wouldn't hurt. Actually, we could get. No, we're not. We're not gonna push it. We're not gonna push it. We're gonna. We're gonna leave it where it's at. That gave us six thousand prestige. So now we're only four thousand prestige away from getting to our main men, the wizards. Now we are far away from our Viking theme party, unfortunately. Um, but this is what I want. I want Merlin the wizard 10,000. I mean, we kind of skipped over the pirates I would like to get the pirates in eventually just to see what they look like and just see how they do I mean the pirates right they look like pirates But I, I just want to see like just show me show me what you show me what you got right show me what you really really got Anyways with the higher prestige we should actually get maybe a higher chance No, I guess that's all based strict on food. It's very interesting that the average of the restaurant I guess the average of the menu. I mean it is strictly to the menu will bring in these people It's not like the way the restaurant looks or sorry the the tavern looks it's all based on the menu so if you have like really cool things high prestige decorative items in here, you're not gonna be attracting anybody new <laughs> it's all up to your food and your food capabilities which goes again why i probably should have looking back at it looking back at it now probably should have done the chopping table food might be more important than you think right it brings in those people take a look at a guest per day we're sitting at 335 people a day and that is strictly because of prestige now that i'm looking at it um strictly because of prestige i think I don't think it had to do with our waitress being added. I'm pretty sure it has to do with our uh, prestige there. So we'll let this go through by once again. See how this goes. Uh, do we need to increase any of this? Refill? Eh, might as well refill. Why not? Do we need to refill this? Eh, might as well. Here we go. Yeah, again, let me check on the kitchen just to see. I like to think that he's busy. And if he wasn't, like, just idling, that goes to show you that we just don't get enough food orders and we don't need to hire another chef i think if we were to hire another chef maybe for another kitchen a different kitchen possibly i, I don't know but look at this you're, you're seeing it nothing's happening here <laughs> nothing's happening at all well i mean there's there's two now what is he actually making there's a cream rolls sweet rolls it's mostly drinks dude mostly drinks and again we have a specific person dedicated to food only 
So I don't know if it's because she's dedicated to food only that the, the food orders are coming in slow or if it's just because people are just not ordering enough. Because there's no way to like tell her, um, there's no way to tell her don't take up drinks, right? She will take up drinks no matter what. It's just a low priority. It is what it is though. Okay. $2,371. I think that's fine. Um, how are we doing? Ah, we actually are trimming down this, uh, this down on regular guests. Huh. Wow. It's actually going down a lot faster than I was expecting. This is on regular days. All right. To the next one. Oh, damn it. I should have done that. I should have replaced at least one table. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I replace one table. But here they are, ladies and gentlemen. These are the Vikings. We need 80 seats to fill up. Hopefully, we have 80 seats. Oh my god, do we not have 80 seats? Oh my F. We have not 80 seats. We do not have 80 seats. Therefore, we do not get the bonus. See? This is where this comes in. The expansion here. Now that I've seen it for myself, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing this. We are expanding. We'll go here, and we'll build a wall there. And people can start coming in this way. Or start sitting over here this way. We, we need lights. Give me lights. Lights, camera, action. Boom. They have the lights. Give them a strong table. One separation. One separation. And then fill it up. <laughs> well, actually, I guess you can kind of go like this, no? Like, what if we did that? Did that. You know what? That probably might be better. Can I do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go, um, delete that. Delete that. And let's go long table. And we'll go, this is, you know how, like, you go to a pizza joint, right? And they have, like, the big tables off into the back room or something or somewhere in the back, right? Or in the corner of the restaurant. That's what this is. That's what this is now. This is that corner, like that, the big party section, right? It, I'm not saying the pizza place. I'm just saying anywhere, really. That's what this is. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, there's the more Vikings. Oh, they can come in still. Will we get the 88? You don't have enough money. No, no, no. There we go. And now we do 1500. The bonus. Bring it. Oh, baby. Now look at that. Oh, so good. Look at them all come. Now we have 80, or we've done 80, at least. So that's really good. So we got the 1500 bonus there, which I love. Um, still, you know, we're, we're working with what we got here. I like this. It is a little bit claustrophobic. I, this isn't permanent, of course. This is not permanent. Because I, I like to think that we have to, like, give way room for, for stairs eventually. But right now, we're kind of just working with, let's get money, right? Get money in people's butts and seats. That's... That's simple. That's it. Dude, look at these guys. I'm getting like Assassin's Creed Valhalla vibes over here. Not played that game before. Always wanted to play that game. That's on a bucket list, I guess. <laughs> Dun. Dun. Oh, look at that painting. Look at that painting right there. There we go. Add to the prestige, right? 6,800, almost 7,000 prestige. Still need to upgrade all of our tables across. Well, not the strong, not the long tables, but the, you know, the, the regular tables. Still need to upgrade those across the board. We did minus $130 because, you know, we, we, we did a lot of, like, over here stuff. Now, they gave us some, not all, of what we were looking for. Because those guys, in particular, are all 80 gold, right? Those are all 80 gold. Okay. Uh, we do have enough money. Right? We do have enough money to kind of jump the gun here and go, you know, give me at least one luxury table, please. And that is it. That's all we'll do. And then we'll refill our drinks, and then we will refill our food, and then hopefully have enough money to pay our staff, which I believe we will get out of here. We do. Nice. Okay, good. Our prestige with that one table has gone up now to 7,000. Oh, baby. It's just a grind, you know? We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. But now we should be able to fill every, like, look at even more, even more people, right? Oh, this is good. 
dun 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 menu upgrade level up the fruit bowl we have now a five star fruit bowl five star apple pie five star bread five star cherry cake and we have a 10 percent chance now to get um the orange orange people in and that's like you know what is that oh by the way five star cream rolls now that's like what one in every 10 person coming into the place um well, I guess if it's out of 100. But actually, we're out of 300, so maybe, like... I, Nope. Nope, I refuse. I refuse to do the math on that! <laughs> I refuse to do the math on that. Three in every 30 people. <laughs> or three in every, three of every 300 people. I don't know. 30 of every 300 people. I don't know, dude. Stop it. We're gonna get this research done, though. We're gonna get this research done. Which, I don't know where the research thing is gonna go. I don't, like, I don't know how that works out. Do we have to hire someone to research, or does it just accumulate over time? I, I have no idea what the research does. How much? Four? Okay, four left. Four important people. We have a 10% chance of bringing you guys in. Just come on in. Look at there's a wizard, dude. He should be at least a gold for us. There's multiple wizards. There's a vi- No. That's a, like a soldier? There's a wizard. That's a wizard. That guy, he should be getting us something here, right? These are not wizards. These are just gentlemen with beards. <laughs> this is a wizard. I wish you could click on him. I wish you could click on him and like see if they had names and stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool. Two more left. Come on, two more left. Um, and then I kind of want to go for the chopping table, honestly. We can pop that one out pretty fast. Where are we at? Still two. There we go. Now we got it. Excelente. Uh, now we have researchers, whatever whatever that means. But uh, this is a big deal. Chopping table. Let's go into the chopping table. Now, for researchers, what the hell does that mean? What, is that like a, a thing we put down? Oh, it is. It's a desk. Oh, researcher's desk. Does it matter where we place it? Can we place it back here in the kitchen? Maybe. Why not, right? How do I activate the research table? Oh, a researcher. Oh, six? Oh, baby! Alice, Willem, Alyssa, Wharton. Okay, attracts more people to, to the... Okay, every day. Attracts more people. Attracts more people. Attracts more people. Gains experience two times faster. Honestly, that's not what we need. We just need people that will be attracted to the place, I guess. Um, these people are the same. They are exactly the same. Alice and Willem. Um, so this speed is not good. Reading speed is not good. Actually, no, speed is good. Reading speed's not good. So let's go ahead and hire Alice. Hello, Alice. Let's hire Willem. Is he going to research? He needs another desk. Oh. So we can put multiple desks back here, no? I mean, I don't know why I would want to do that. But we let's put two of them back there, I guess. And we'll just try that. And we'll go researcher and hire Willem. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll, you know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, for the meantime, we can go ahead and do the chopping table for the next day. So let's send it. 7,100 now in our prestige. I could have probably got away with buying one more table. Maybe. Possibly. But I'm not too worried about it. So tomorrow's event is going to be very simple. I say bring in the Vikings. Because, I mean, that's the logical choice there. But we haven't done the pirates. And they give more money for ale and mead. But they give a better... Why would I not do the Vikings, right? So this should, this could technically actually end today. There's a possibility of this being done in one day. Now our researchers over there are just doing research. One light bulb. I don't think it matters because we don't, we can't accumulate it, right? We need the research for this, the, the light bulbs for that. If we look a little bit further here, we got kitchen, barrel storage, waitresses, fireplace grill, again, uh, guests, hotel, like there's so, so much still that needs to get done here. We're, we're kind of like halfway through our game here. We go 148, and then here, go ahead and buy that. Awesome. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking how this is all going. We could add a little bit more prestige back here, a little bit of decoration if we wanted to. I just hope everybody is getting served 
Like, I, I, you know, it's kind of impossible for me to know, like, hey, are you getting served or not? Like, did someone take your order? Like, hopefully no one's over here waiting, like, for food or, like, waiting to order for food. Because this right here, I mean, look at this man. He's, like, sitting here, like, give me a food order. I mean, to be fair, though, we don't really offer that much. <laughs> I mean, well, well, I mean, we offer some desserts. We offer fruit. Well, we offer chicken and roasted fish. Like, those are the two main courses. Really, you could say is, like... A bowl of chicken and roasted fish but other than that man it's like you get a cherry cake an apple pie cream roll or bread all right it's all about the drinks here that's what's happening it's all about the drinks we wants the drinks like we wants the redhead right we wants the redhead kind of like a pirates in the caribbean thing there right da -da 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 -da. so this is gonna end here right here in a second this should let's see our research on that I guess I was wrong about getting all of our customers in that day. Oh. 13. Damn it. 13. All right. Well, not as much as I would would want it, you know. What are you doing over here? These people are stuck. Oh, those are our staff. <laughs> Never mind. So, real quick, since we have the money, let's go ahead and pause the game. And let's go ahead and kind of upgrade our seats here. Or tables, sorry. We'll do the tables before we do the seats, right? There we go, and then do that, do that. How's our prestige now? 7,500, you'd love to see it. And we are not gonna be doing another row. We're gonna, well, we are gonna be doing more, but um, that's good for now. Yes, 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 that is good for now. Awesome. All right, so I think that's gonna do it in today's episode of Tavern Master. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We are getting there quite well. Um, in the next episode, we should be getting the chopping table, uh, the props for soup, possibly plus one bar, and hell, we could even get the new floor in the next episode. So I hope you guys are here to join me for the next episode. I'm gonna leave you here, and that is gonna do it for today. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next video, wherever that may be. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I'll hear your pocket full of songs.